This conference will now be recorded. So uh, we'll be starting our next topic that is good receipt part one. Okay. So in this the topics that we are going to cover, we will see what is good receipt, moment types and the rule, procedure for the initial entry of stock balances. Then we will see good receipt with or without purchase order, free of charge delivery. Okay, then good receipt into unrestricted quality inspection and blocker stock. We will see and special aspects of receiving goods in GR blocker stock and automatic generation of purchase orders at the time of good receipt. So these are the topics we will be covering in the good receipt part one. So basically good receipt a good receipt is a goods movement in which the receipt of goods from both an external vendor and from production is posted okay so good receipt means basically you are receiving the stock okay either it can be from a external vendor or from your production department so when the external vendor delivers the material the warehouse team will do the gr goods receipt Okay, and from the, from the production, when the production team completes the production activity, they will do the GR. Okay, so that is basically the good receipt. A good receipt leads to an increase of warehouse stock. So normally any GR, it, it results in increase in the stock. Stock in the warehouse will increase. Stock in the storage location basically increases basically. Okay with good with the good receipt you post the physical inward movement of goods from an external vendor that's what i just explained or from production and then complete a goods movement which leads to an increase in the warehouse stock that's what so either it can be from external supplier or from within the internal production team they can do the chair normally two types of good receipt are there good receipt without reference without any reference document like without a purchase order or a production order another one is good receipt with reference with, re with a reference document like purchase order or production order this we discussed so many times many times but again we will cover today okay so before uh, going into the uh, good receipt we need to understand movement types okay so basically whenever you enter a goods movement you must indicate a movement type to differentiate between the various move, goods movements. So any goods movement in the SAP system is identified with a three character movement type. Okay, the movement type is a three character key used to differentiate between goods movement. Okay, so it, it's normally a three character field which you can see it in the MIGO transaction. If you go to MIGO transaction, If you go to Mingo transaction, okay, here you see there is a field here, three character field. This is the movement type. So we have so many movement types here. We have so many movement types. We will discuss about all this movement type. So any goods movement in the SAP system is identified with a three character movement type. Okay, this is a three character. Okay, that is a movement type. Examples of examples of examples of such goods movement types are good receipt for purchase order like 101 this we discussed good issue for cost center 201 and release from quality inspection stock 320 so these are some of the examples okay it can be like 101 201 321 basically okay so now the another one is another one is this movement type controls 
basically quantity and value of data okay it influences account determination okay it influences the field selection on the migo screen which field will become mandatory that also it will control and it influences the message determination this is output when we go to output determination that i will discuss okay so basically movement type will control all these functions this you will understand when we when we execute the uh, different uh, uh, transactions goods gr gi stock transfers when we execute you will understand all these things how the movement type controls all these functions basically okay so now normally for gr normally for good receipt the movement types normally starts with one normally normally of course there are some exceptions but normally all the grs movement types will starts with normally one normally okay so first we will start with the good receipt without reference so good receipt without reference means without any reference document like purchase order or production order or a reserve or a, or a inbound delivery whatever it is so here we don't have any reference document this we discussed already whenever you do any 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 transaction on migo first we select the activity we are doing then we will select the type of reference document but here there is no reference document that's what we are discussing good receipt without reference document okay good receipt receipt without reference document so first one is uh, first one is the initial stock palette initial stock entries entries okay first one so these are the ones good receipt without references these are the ones first is initial entry of stock balances so you directly post the stock first time when you do implementation that time you will do this i will show you then without purchase order sometimes vendor supplies the metal without purchase order that time you have to do gr without any reference document sometimes free of charge delivery okay and this is in these are these are of course in mm okay and there are some uh, uh, grs happens in other uh, other modules like without production order in pp and good receipt of by products okay and returns from the customer this happens in hd module so normally these are the ones basically without reference documents okay so we will see one by one so first one is the initial entry of stock balances so this initial of initial entry of stock balances this happens during the implementation when the sap implementation happens initial time they have to load all the stocks into the system okay they will take the uh, stocks in the company from their legacy system and then they will load it into the sap for the first time so that time they will use this 561 movement if they want to load it in unrestricted use they use 561 if they want to load it in stock quality inspection they use 563 if they want to load it directly into blocked stock 565 okay and this is only during the normally during the implementation okay you must carry out an initial entry of stock balances when you implement the sap system in order to record the starting physical warehouse stock figures or transfer the book inventories from a legacy system so this this movement type is normally used during the implementation first time stocks loading into the sap and the most important thing here is no physical material movement occurs during this process here there is no physical movement actually of the materials you are not receiving physically anything you are not issuing anything physically you are not transferring anything physically only whatever is there in the warehouse that you are putting it into the system that is called initial entry of stock balances okay so so for posting into approved stock movement type is 561 for posting directly into qm quality inspection it is 563 and directly you can post to blocker stock also it is 565 okay the quantity recorded is posted to the st selected stock type and increases the total valuated stock of the body okay so now we will see this in the system 561 okay this is the one 
okay so what i will do is i will take a material which is not having any stock so let me take a material 60. Okay, let us sorry. What is that MB fifty two? MB fifty two, right? Okay. Anyone any any material doesn't have stock? Okay. 